time I posted, man. Holy, it's been like two weeks or something. Anyways, what's good, guys? It's your boy. I'm back. I'm back. Daily videos starting now. Now, anyways, on to the good stuff. Today's video, as you can see by the title, if you're not blind, is Zephyr, Guard Dragon, and Demion. This deck's amazing. Arguably better than my first one. Seven to Gate combo tutorial coming up right now. So hit the subscribe button and enjoy greatness. And hey, who knows? Later tonight, maybe some trip miss is coming. Enjoy the video, guys. What's up? Combo tutorial time. Let's do this. As you see, Ryan and Man, let's go. Let's go. We're going to go a little slow so you guys catch on. This is a Zephra, Guard Dragon, and Demion deck. So, in this game plan we got over here, uh, Rook, my beard's so nice, man, honestly. Anyways, anyways, aside from the beard, our hand is Zephra, Providence, Oracle of Zephra, Set Rotation. So, we really have three ways to get the Zephra cards, but Set Rotation is also Dragon Ravine. Into the Void, which every single Endemia deck should be playing, non-negotiable whatsoever, and Chronograph. All right, so, as you see here, every single card has great. It's fantastic. A little issue is that we have a little too many Zephyr cards because we only want to see one, but again, the other one just going to equal like a random Pendulum, which is okay. The game button here, we want to go Six Negates. We want to end up with Electrum, Dark Worm over here, uh, Zephyr Nui here, and then the one card negates, Jacqueline and Demion here with the Zephyr Divine Strike. is going to end up with a Guard Dragon combo, six or seven or eight negates, depending on the hand. So we're going to see this one. So this one is seven negates, I believe. Uh, we went into the Void first in the hopes of drawing a Servant. And hey, what do you know? We drew a Servant. You do play six of them or an Abductor or anything like that. You play nine of them, which will show the, uh, I will show the, uh, the deck profile of this list in a later video tonight. Wink, wink. Uh, that was a bad wink. Anyways, uh, into the Void, we get Servant. So the game by here, obviously, you want to bring on Servant. You want to bring on Jacka before anything. The only hand drop that stops, stops this deck is Joel and Lockbird. But as I said in earlier videos, Draw a Lockbird is for either poor people or shit people. So if you face any of them, you're good. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you uh, What are you going to ask, bro? Are you going to ask the Servant? Are you going to ask the Zephyr Providence? Are you gonna ask, like, what are you asking? It, it doesn't matter what happens. If you ask the Servant, you still have Electrum. Like, it doesn't matter. Like this, this deck, That's what I like about this deck. There's so many stuff to uh, uh, bait with. Now, I did one little mistake here because I was on stream while doing this. Shout out to my stream. Oracle, I searched Oracle of Zephyr with Zephyr Providence. I meant to search a random Zephyr monster, so this is going to be a Zephyr Wrath, okay? Because set rotation will not resolve, we only play two Oracle Zephyrs in the deck. So, Zephyr Pro I forgot to realize, I was on the stream while I did it. So this Oracle of Zephyr I searched is a Zephyr Wrath, okay? Don't forget that. The Oracle of Zephyr I searched was with, with uh, Zephyr Providence is a Zephyr Wrath, don't forget that. So now we have one counter on, on Servant. And now the goal is really to just uh, get as many counters on Servant and start baiting stuff out. We hope they actually serve it, like it doesn't matter what happens at this point. No hatchup could save them. The only hatchup that could save them was the draw Lockbird, which, uh, like, nothing else will save you at this point. You can have Infinity Hatchup. Nothing will matter at this point. So, uh, over there, I added the Zephyroth. What I'm going to do here, you're going to see, uh, right before I set rotation, I'm going to put back the Oracle of Zephyra that I, the Oracle of Zephyra I added with the set rotation, or sorry, with the Zephyra Providence, and the Zephyroth is going to be the guard I search instead. So, we got that out of the way. Now, Oracle of Zephyra, I'm going to search another Zephyroth. Zephyroth is going to be a card you're going to discard with Dragon Ravine. Which is why this is so good. You play so many spells before you even activate a scale. You already have three or four uh, counters on a deep on servant. Like you already have four counters at this point. You activate Corona, you get six counters on servant if you really want to. So it's like uh, it's incredibly easy. Every single turn you get counters on a doctor and servant. And since you play nine of them in a fifty card deck with four draw cards, it, it's incredibly high chance of, of winning. To be honest, Dragon V, which is uh, broken because free counters. You need Dark Worm in this combo. Like. You need it for the guard dragon combo. Uh, so without uh, a dragon, you can't do the guard dragon combo. And this uh, combo heavily relies on it, which is why we play uh, 10 Foolish Burials. It's like, uh, I'll get to that in the, in the uh, deck profile. But anyways, uh, here we, we go Docker. I'm going to go a little faster at this point. We use Servant Effect. We want to bring on a Jacka because the Jacka is going to be there to negate uh, the hand traps on Electrum to make sure Electrum is going to uh, resolve. Uh, we activate the Zephyrath. Uh, Bring out the Zephyr Nui, go Electrum. Electrum at this point, what are you going to do? Ogre? Nah, you're going to negate that. It's like a little uh, Borat not joke. It's like Ogre, nah. And then you just stop it. At this point, we show Garuda, but we did in use Into the Void, so we don't want Garuda. Instead of Garuda, we're going to get so uh, something else. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point. You can really do anything. Uh, there's so many options you could do here. Uh, Garuda, I took Garuda out eventually. Garuda is not that good. It's really not that good at all. Uh, I, I would have rather Pendulum summon it than keep it in hand. Like, it's a. Uh, you could have had any mo any monster would be the same result. It's not like Pendulum Magicians where you could summon anything. 
It doesn't matter what you send. Like, it really doesn't matter at all. In this situation, we're going to get Endymion because we're going to end the board with an Endymion uh, instead of a Jackal, I believe. Uh, yeah, we could pen some Minota Endymion, so it's like you'd rather an Endymion instead of a Jackal, but it doesn't matter because you have so many negates anyways. Uh, so we're going to use Electron to pop the Zep uh, Zephyrath to get the Endymion we send. Uh, we're going to pen summon that Endymion, the Dark Worm, and the Zephyr Nui. Now, if you notice, uh, there's no harmonizing, there's no full monster zones, but you don't need it. The beauty of this combo is you only need an Electrum, a Dark Worm, and a Zephyr Nui, and it ends on four negates, or four interruptions. And anything else you get is a bonus. Or it ends on five. Dark Worm, Zephyr Nui, and Electrum ends on five interruptions if you have another monster for the Desudo. So... We're gonna keep going here just so you guys can see. I'm blabbering a little bit. Uh, so if I'm going a little too fast, uh, deal with it and stop being a, a noob. Anyways, uh, we go triple burst with Electrum and Zephyr Nui. Uh, LP sends Distrudo, special Distrudo over here. The Distrudo and the burst go into Agar Pain. Uh, Agar Pain and bring out the Vortex. And then those who go into Heretic Link. Guard Dragons are so unbelievably broken with, uh, uh, with Heretic Seal. Like, this card just busted. It's literally two, two like uh, non-targeting return and a banish a monster because you play Aether instead of Sloth, which you should do because your opponent expects a Sloth. So they summon one monster, attack the Heretic Seal, and think that's it. But no, nah, you just uh, or they summon two monsters. Sorry, they play two monsters. They summon two monsters like a Danger and a Normal Summon, whatever it might be. Attack the Heretic Seal and attack the Sloth because that's zero defense. Uh, but now instead of that, it's an Aether and you got rid of both monsters, so they lose both. Uh, incredible! I love this card so much. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to use Chronograph Effect, bring up Time Gazer, and the Distrudo we brought from the LP combo, uh, and then we're going to go Dragster, and just like that, 5 negates plus 2 interruptions from here, so 7 in, uh, interruptions in total, but you don't want 7 actual negates, because if they summon a Conductor, they clear your board, you cry. Uh, set the Divine Strike, and there you go, so you're going to have a Jackal with 7 counters, I probably forgot some counters, probably like 9 or 11 or something. Uh, the Endymion, uh, the Dragster, the Vortex... Uh, this is going to return a base up card to the hand, not targeting, and bring out uh, Aether, which banishes a monster on field. Uh, so, seven interruptions and Divine Strike. You have like five real negates here. Like, four negates for spell traps. Like, bro, are you kidding me? Jack over monster with infinite counters. Like, and it's like this every single turn. Uh, it's really the way that's built is uh, like the whole deck is just uh, Oracle of Zephyrus, it's Dragon Ravines, it's Turbo cards. It's like. I, instead of putting them, I took out the magicians because magicians are more powerful and you get uh, like both scales so easily. But uh, you always end up getting a scale zero with the uh, dark worm. Uh, dark worm gets gate zero, so you always end up getting it with your infinite waste of dark worm. So I thought I'm like, you know what? I'll use just a high scale, and that's what the zephyrs are for. Anyways, this is uh, just the number one, uh, the number one test hand here. Uh, we're gonna do another one right after. Uh, yep. Yeah. So another one right after. Oops. Uh, right here. Just to show you guys like the very first, it's the same man, whatever. Just like we did two in a row, but uh, you'll see that like I didn't like stack anything, just like went like that. Uh, so now this one, uh, this one is uh, every hand's gonna be similar. Like every hand is literally like the whole deck is just cards like this. It's either a draw card, it's a Zeph uh, way to Zephyroth. You have like nine ways or something to Zephyroth, or ten ways, twelve ways. Uh, your servants, your abductors, your dragon ravines, like draw cards, and that's all the deck is. Like there's nothing else in the deck. We minimize. All the brick cards to ensure you're gonna end up seven negates every turn. We minimize all the brick cards into the void. Absolutely mandatory for any deck that plays in Demon. This is not negotiable. It's not debatable. Uh, just play it or you're an idiot. There's no other way around it. Uh, and then here we're just gonna keep going. Like as you see, like is basically the same thing. This one can go a little faster because uh, you guys saw we just we go dragon ravine. Like it doesn't matter what you hand trap. Droll is the only thing. Like I said, but droll like I said in the beginning is for poor people or people that are shit. Uh, no good player plays droll in a deck. Uh, so, like, what are you going to hand trap? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, so at that point, we'd rather uh, ravine the, Zep the Oracle of Zephyr instead of Zephyrath because set rotation is going to get you another Oracle of Zephyr. Uh, so you'd rather save the monster, uh, Pendulum Monsters uh, to give you more plays. They're going to go Servant, Jackal. If they ash the Servant, who gives a shit? It doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, we would have, in, in that situation, you set rotation to get the... Uh, Another Oracle of Zephyr to get the Zephyr Nui, or sorry, the normal summonable uh, Zephyr monster you play, then you win a normal and have Dark Worm and make Electrum anyways, and still one. Uh, so it doesn't matter at all. Uh, that one. You, you play one of these because you need one normal summonable Zephyr card to make sure in times where your server gets ashed, you can still make Electrum easily with your infinite turbo cards. And now again, Jackal protects Electrum, so Ogre, Gamma, Valor, all that's useless. 
uh, which is why this is so damn good. You do this every single turn. And it's not like I did this like, oh, I picked the two best test hands. These are the only two test hands I did. The rest of the test hands were in duels, like actual duels, which maybe I'll show in a later video today. Hint, 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 hint. Uh, so stay on the lookout for that. Now we're gonna keep going here. We do a cool little play here where uh, like we want another jackal, okay? We wanna get another jackal. So what we're gonna do is, cause you have so many spell trap negates anyways. So a cool way to get a draw, sometimes if you have a field spell, you can't draw with Electrum. So we pop the Oracle of Zephra, we get the Cerberus, and use Cerberus to destroy itself to get the second Jackal, uh, which we took out Garuda for, because Garuda, you don't need this. I'd rather two Jackals, 100 million percent, to be able to do what I just did there. So now you're going to be able to draw one card for free, which in uh, Zephyrus is huge. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a monster, because every monster you get is almost like an extra negate you could do, because you can't always pen five, right? Uh, we go zero, uh, we put Zephyrath, we bring out Zephyrnui, again, you can't ogre, you can't do nothing, negate that, no one fucking plays Typhoon, uh, so you're good, like, you're just fucking broken, and even if he does play Typhoon, we got a little, uh, Zephyr Providence in there, so, it doesn't even matter, doesn't even, don't even matter, bro, like, this is too good, we're gonna fast forward this a little bit, uh, I don't want this video to be way too, too long, because we're posting a multitude of videos today, just saying, uh, and then we're gonna keep going here, triple burst, LP, bring out the Strudel. Like, it's honestly so easy. Like, it's, every turn is like this. Agar Pain, bring out Vortex. Same combo as before, except we opted for a second Jackal because we could get plus one more card in this situation. We didn't normal summon yet because you have infinity ways. We didn't normal summon at all because uh, we had three monsters on board. We didn't even normal summon, which is why you always save the normal summon for the very end because Servant's going to equal the whole Electrum in itself. Dark Worm, you're always going to have Dark Worm. You play 12 or Waste Dark Worm or something or 12 Waste of Foolish or 10 Foolishes or something. You got Chronographs. You got so many ways of Turbo Cards. It's unbelievable. You have too many. Sometimes you can have four or five monsters on board without normal summoning. So that last normal, it's either going to be, the last card is going to be either be a pendulum summon, a normal summon, or a chronograph in scale. So there's so many dumb ways to do this. Uh, then we do Strudo and Dragster, same combo. Uh, in a later duel, I'm going to show you guys how to do eight, eight negates, which is also very easy. And boom. And we set that. We could have terraforming for more uh, counters, but you have 11. You don't need more than that. And just like that, you're going to have uh, the exact same seven negates. Uh, two from Heretic Seal is going to be a non targeting bounce and a bandage, which is better than a negate when you have five negates. Three spell trap negates, two jackals. And the, just like the last turn, I, how I showed you guys how to do a demon instead of the jackal, this is just a one extra plus. We got to draw one card from it. Otherwise, I could have done this to be an endemion as well, except it will result in uh, less of a plus because the endemion will have to pop a card. So it could have done the exact same result, but you would end up with popping one of your scales and you wouldn't even get the terraforming. So it would have been a way worse result. Because uh, you don't need more than three spell trapping gates. Even if they sphere mode you, you still have a like. Even if they sphere mode you, what are they gonna do? Sphere mode. What are you gonna sphere mode? Heretic seal, dragster, vortex. Sure, you still have three negates, and they have five cards that can't normal summon. Even the sphere mode won't save you. You have seven interruptions, both hands. Those are the test hands. I'm gonna show you guys how to go first, second, etc. In later videos. Uh, later today, hint, hint. Those who are still watching, I, I'm gonna post a combo. Sorry, uh, this will come to. I'm gonna be posting a deck profile and test duels. So let's be on the lookout for that. And uh, hey, hope you guys like the video. See you guys next video. Peace. And the case every hand, man, is absolutely so, so, so easy. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned later tonight in a few hours. Trifmas might be upon us all. See you guys next video. Peace.